In this video, I want to talk quickly just about a software application that I use to help me uh, make the determinations of which markets I'm going to trade. Now, this is, you don't see me show this in the software very often in my videos because this is kind of a behind the scenes research tool for me. But I've had a lot of people ask me how I determine which markets to trade, and so I thought I would share this with you. This is a, a tool called Trade Miner, and it's a research tool that helps me determine which markets I'm going to trade at any given time. Now what it does is it's a kind of a data mining tool and markets have a tendency to go through the same patterns over and over and over again. Uh, think about corn or wheat uh, or soybeans in the futures market for example. We plant them at the same time every year, we harvest them at the same time every year, we bring them to market at the same time every year. This causes seasonal cycles and trends so the market has a tendency to repeat these different tri these different cycles over and over and over again. Now this happens not only in the futures market, it also happens in the forex market, also happens in the stock market. But I do have the stock market version hiding back here, and we're going to play with that in just a minute. But the futures version is the one I want to kind of uh, talk to you about here, just as a little quick example, and then we'll move into some of these other versions. I do have a Forex version as well. So let's just show you just quickly. We come in here, uh, and thinking about that concept of the fact that markets have a tendency to repeat themselves, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for repeating cycles and trends. Now, we're going to come in here, and tab one is set up to do the search. We have a portfolio tab. We have trade alerts that will kind of send us a note notice when the next trade's coming up. We have a settings tab in here and then an education tab. Education has a bunch of videos that shows you how to do this. Now the, the most important step to me is this, uh, this search tab. And this is where we're going to come in here and we're going to prospect for trends in the month of. And we can do the symbol. We can do an individual symbol if we would like to. But I like to do it by month because I'm going to find out what I'm going to be trading this month. And then this is what I generally do the videos for trade mentors on. So we come in here and we prospect for trends in the month of. And I'm going to just use January since we're in the month of January. And we're going to find trends that have lasted, that uh, ha have won at least 80% of the time. Now that's at least 80%. So I don't want anything that's not been a good solid trend at least 80% of the time. And I'm going to show both longs and shorts, uh, bullish and bearish trends. And we're going to list trades that have lasted at least 14 trading days, but no more than 30 trading days. So I kind of like that two-week to, to four-week window uh, of trends. We can turn that down, and sometimes we'll do a shorter-term time frame. We can do a seven-week trend as well. And then we're going to mine for at least eight years of history in here. And I like eight years, but it, notice it says mine at least eight years. So that means it'll do more, but no less than eight years. So it has to be 80% accurate within the last at least eight years of time frame. And now these are just a couple of uh, filters that'll filter out some of the uh, overlapping trade dates and some of the uh, duplicates in here. And I just turn all those on. I'm going to go ahead and hit dig now. And as you can see, this comes down and it'll dig down through the, uh, the database of all the different commodities and it'll look through them and help us identify which ones are the best uh, opportunities to trade during any given time frame. Now we have a score over here that we can sort on. I can sort that by ascending or descending order. Now just because it's red doesn't mean it's it doesn't fit the criteria above. It still does. Phil, it still fits the criteria of being 80% accurate over the last uh, eight years during this time frame. It's just that when it's scored as a red, it means it didn't make as much money or that there's another opportunity in here somewhere else that might be a better opportunity. So it goes red, yellow, and uh, green in here. And as you can see, we have some yellows and then we have some greens. And we can sort that by the score ascending or descending, bringing those highest scores to the top. Five is the highest score you can get. So you can see in here, uh, this is a, this is crude oil. And between January 23rd and February 24th, 90% of the time over the last 10 years, uh, crude oil has been bullish. And so this kind of gives me a little insight. So when I'm doing my videos, when I'm doing my trading, when I'm teaching people how to trade and what markets to trade, these are the markets I'm going to be looking at. These are the markets that are going to give me the opportunities of these reoccurring trends and market cycles, and that's what we need. We need these fundamental driving forces that are forcing these markets to move and make trends. And so this tells me which ones of those markets have done that. Now we can come in here, and again, I have this down here in Forex. We can do the same thing in Forex. You can see that in the Forex market, we have the score in here. Uh, USD, CAD, US dollar, Canadian dollar between January 3rd and February 2nd, 80% of the time. Over the last five years, this market has been bullish. So again, if I'm going to be looking to uh, trade the, the Canadian dollar, or if I'm looking for something to trade during that time frame, I'm going to be looking at the Canadian dollar because 80 percent of the time, 
this market's been bullish during that time frame. So I have a pretty good opportunity or a pretty good knowledge knowing that I'm going into a market that has a tendency to move during that time frame. Now, if we come back here and do a little bit of a uh, research, here's the stock market version. I'm going to show you very quickly. Uh, one of the really cool features uh, is the portfolio. But let's go ahead and do a dig on the uh, stock market version. You can see that we're going to do the month of January once again. And in this one, we'll do one at least 80% of the time. Both, let's do both. Let's just do bullish on here. Uh, actually, let's do both because a lot of people like to trade options on futures or excuse me, options on stocks, and so they can buy a put option in case they think a market's going to go down. So we're going to list trends that last at least seven trading days, but no more than 30 trading days, and we're going to mine at least 10 years of history, okay, 10 years, and that's at least 10 years. So it has to be at least 80% accurate over at least the last 10 years, and we're going to remove the duplicates, and I'm going to hit dig now. Now you'll notice that this market, it's a much bigger market than the, the futures market. It's going to take a little bit longer to go through this. Uh, when we first um, started using Trade Miner, this this uh, scan result would take hours, but uh, the technology has come a long ways and it's much faster now. And you can come in here and you can see the settings tab is going to go down and it's going to give you a list of all the stocks that it's searching through. And of course, it's got uh, selection tabs, uh, selection boxes over here. And you can choose which ones you want it to select and which ones you don't, which ones you want it to scan, which ones you don't. You can build your own portfolios this way. But if we come back over to the search tab, you can see it's almost done. And I'm going to flip back over here. I'll let this finish and then come back to you. Okay, that's finished. That took about a minute and a half to finish. And so what we've come up here now with is we've come up with our score again. These are the ones that have uh, scored the highest. I can sort them again by clicking that header, getting the highest uh, ascending and descending orders. And I can do that in any column. All right, so I can come in here and I can say these are the fives. Uh, that we've received in SCORE, and here's Sunco Company, uh, logistics partner, between January 13th, February 15th, over the last 13 years, 92% of the time, on average, this thing's returned a 10% uh, profit percentage, and that's a 34-day holding period. So you can see that that's kind of uh, how this market or how this software works. We can come down here to the next one. This is another bullish trend, AutoZone, between January 31st to March 3rd years, uh, 12 years, winning ratio, 83% of the time over the last 12 years this market has been bullish during this time frame. So again, it gives me the ability to come through and find out which uh, stocks, which futures, and which Forex pairs I should be trading at any given time. So uh, one of the neat things about this is we can come in and we can sort on any of these columns. So I sorted on the score at first. If we want to see the highest winning percentage, we just click on that one. And look, there's one that's 100%, has hit 100% over the last 10 years. Fidelity National Financial, January 11th through February 17th over the last 10 years. 100% of the time that thing has been bullish and returned an average of 9% uh, return. Now, another one of the really cool features about TradeMiner is the ability to move your uh, trading opportunities into the Portfolio tab, which is the second tab in here. Now, I'm going to come in here and show you how we're going to do that. And I'm just going to simply sort on the date and bring the closest dates up and see these first, what is there, about five different opportunities that are all green in here. Let's go ahead and take those. And we're going to take those first five opportunities, and we're going to move those, add those to step two. And that's going to bring those into the Portfolio. Now, into the Portfolio tab, we have a neural network system system, which is designed to scan through these different opportunities and not only tell us uh, what the market has done in the past, but tell us how well it is on track to repeat these cycles and trends again this year. It uses a lot of oscillating indicators, mathematical formulas, and projections to determine if this market is comparatively based on the same information we had previously, if it's repeating that information and should be on track to um, make these trends again this year. So if we come up here to the search tab, you can see, again, this information, again, I want to just reemphasize is all history. It's what's been done in the past over the last 10 to 12, 15 years. These markets have made these types of trends uh, with these types of returns. Now, the question is, will they repeat again this year? Well, we don't know because past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. But of course, in my opinion, it's the best information that we have. So we're going to come in here and we're going to look at the Portfolio tab. And in the Portfolio tab, again, this one now calculates the current information, the current data, the current history uh, of what's going on in the market, and tells us 
uh, how these markets are trending against the previous trends in years past. And then it, it kind of creates like a fingerprint or a footprint of what happened in the past and then compares it to this year and tells us if this year looks like it's going to be on, on track to do the same thing it has in years past. And this is a scanner that comes in here and it'll take a look at this. And I'm going to uh, let this scan and when it's done I'll come back and show you the results. Okay, that scan has completed, and I just want to come through here and show you uh, the probabilities in here are telling us that this, uh, this particular opportunity was very low. The probability of it repeating the pattern uh, based on the mathematics is very low. This one's very low as well, uh, conical Phillips. Uh, this one here is bullish and it's medium. It's giving you a medium score saying eh, the, the chances are that it could be. This is low and another medium score. Oftentimes in here you'll get a high score. You have high and very high. And so you'll see that those are ones that we want to pick on and look at and watch very closely. Um, and these will come in and as, as these markets come to fruition we'll be able to watch these markets and determine which ones of these are low, high, medium. And this is how you calculate off of your calculations of which ones you want to be trading or uh, watching for in the future. And I've done a couple of scans here on the on the Forex market. You can see that in this one we have a couple of opportunities that have come up high, medium, low, and very low. So you can see in here it gives you the different scores ba based on the different scans of what markets have done in the past. Again, comparing in the future. If we come over to the uh, Forex version, you can see we've done the same thing. We've got some that are not yet calculated. We've got one that's listed in here is very high. The U.S. 10-year T-note between January 10th and January 19th, 100% of the time over the last eight years, has given us a basic basically an average profit of 48% and it's high it's on on track to do the same thing again this year so that's that's good for us to be watching that particular market and you'll probably be seeing me doing some videos on that particular market coming up and then here these are not calculated because uh, they're too far out into the future for us to be able to do the scans on at this point and that's just a quick summary of Trade Miner. Some of the information that uh, I use, some of the tools that I use to help me determine which markets I'm going to be trading at any given time, the best markets at the right time. Uh, we all know that timing is everything, and so these are the tools I use to help me determine which markets I'm going to be trading. Hi, my name is Lan Turner, and if you've enjoyed this video and would like to learn a little bit more about how you can use Trade Miner in your trading, I would invite you to stop by our website at www.tradementors.com and sign up, and we'd love to help you make this happen for yourself.